Hey guys, and it's Ben, and welcome back to another bucket plugin tutorial. This episode, we're going to be looking at sort of loading in colors from configuration files and using them in game and saving them and stuff like that, and saving, and, you know, all fun stuff with configs and colors, which I get asked about very lots, very lots, very English good much. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to want to do is we're going to make a map. Um, so this is just how to store sort of like an object. Um, behind a key so to get to the object we have to insert a key I'll explain more in a minute uh, I think I've already done about that I'm gonna call this just like chat colors and it's gonna equal a new hash map and in this it's gonna take I can't spell strings <laughs> that's fantastic string so that's how we define a, a map and make sure to import why does that look like that also anyway so make sure we import map and hash map from java.util so and we're going to want to make a public void on enable so this is when called when you know our server starts and in on enable we're going to first of all want to save I cannot see my keyboard save config my, this, I've never typed like this before this is very odd okay save config uh, and then we're going to want to so we're going to grab our config so we're going to get config so that returns our configuration file and we're going to put dot set and in the config, we're going to set. Um, so let me, I guess, explain this. Like, if I get a notepad document. Okay, so this is our YML file here. Uh, and in here, so this is like, you know, config file, guile, file. So in here, we have colors. So this is going to be the colors for the people who. I've got their names and I want to put like my name so bench cubed bench cubed and then a colon and then I'll put like blue or something and then there'd be someone else's name so to, to, to set this to like set something like this to encode uh, what we type is we type colors so that's like the parent of all the things so there'd be like more here and this person would have this and then there'd be this and then someone would have this um, so anyway, so it would be colors and then dots mm, the name. So bench cubed. And the second argument that it takes is what we're setting after sort of like the colon. So this is before the colon and this is after the colon. So colors and then dot. So that's the separator. That's where it says, okay, now we're on the children of the parent. Um, and then the next argument is here. So in here, we're going to put like yellow. So yellow is going to go in there. So I want my chat color to be yellow. So I want my color, the eyes, when I talk in chat, I want my color to be yellow. And then we can just say chat colors dot clear. Um, this, is just, this is just an example as to how the config is going to be set up, by the way. Uh, just, so, just so we work. Okay, so now this is where it gets a little bit more confusing. We're going to make a for loop, and we're going to loop through some strings. And those strings are going to be found in the configuration file. So we're going to get our config, and we're going to get configuration section colors so what it's going to do is it's going to get everything that's inside of the colors section so this would return bench cubed as d as and asd that that would return those three st strings so we do loop through those st three strings and at the end we need to put uh, get keys and false so it doesn't return the, the keys which is something that you don't need to know about that okay um now in our chat colors so this dot chat colors or chat colors dot puts so in our chat colors first of all we're going to put the uh, the name of the person so because it's returning before the colon it's returning this part we're going to store their name and then inside of their name in that key we're going to store their color and their color is going to be um get config so we're going into our config and we're going to get the string of their name so what this does is it returns what is after the colons with the um the key being s which is their name so it's going to return blue in this case after the colon for my name so that's going to loop through and it's going to put all the chat colors for all the players that are in the config files names there so that's that's how that works um so now we're just going to add like a command to to set someone's chat color so if you hit control space and find on command that's going to set up our uh, command method for us and just return false at the bottom so we're going to check if our our um, label equals ignore case if our command is like set chat color like that 
And if the argument length is not equal to two, then we're going to send them a message. So I'm going to say sender dot send message, uh, and we're going to make it red. So another thing, which if we just type red and then hit plus and then type in proper improper args or something like so that like error message they put the wrong amount of arguments because we want to say set chat color name color so if it's not equal to two because there needs to be two arguments then we're gonna we're going to spring up an error um and then we want to actually we want to return false so we break out of this so return false we want to break out of this this method so it didn't work it broke um now we're gonna imp we're gonna do a static import um so we're gonna do import static now what this means is, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll type it first. So we can org dot bucket dot um, chat color, okay, and then dot star. So what this means is we can instead of like because because chat color dot red it dot red that's a static argument because we're typing the class name and then we're just typing red. So that that's a that's a static name so to speak. Uh, it's a static object. And if we import static, it means we can just um, we can just type the name of the uh, the the object instead of having to put the name of the class. So if I now hit like Control Space to see what things are in are, are like available, it says red is because up here we're importing org bucket dot chat color dot actually put star. Uh, now we have all of them because we are importing everything from the chat color class as sta everything that is static we can now use inside this class. So anyway, that's the error message handled. Um, now we're going to check if what they've entered as the chat as the color is actually a color. So if chat color dot value of um, args one dot two lowercase is equal to null. Now what this means is if so chat color value of and then that args one is going to be where our color is, so it's going to be the second argument. And chat color value of returns the chat color for what we've typed. So if, if yellow is is it will return yellow chat color dot yellow. If we typed in red it would return chat color dot red as in the uh, the object of it. And then if it was odd, if it was a weird argument then it would return null. So we're checking that if what they've entered is is not valid basically if it's if it's an invalid color we're going to say sender dot send message and then we're going to say args zero plus and then is not a valid or not a zero or ten color color so args one so what they typed in isn't a valid color and then we're going to return false we're going to break out of this method because this method's you know not not valid anymore because they've Incorrect. They put in an improper argument. So next, we're going to get the name of the player. So string player equals args zero. So that their command's going to look like slash set chat color uh, name color like that. Uh, so here we're going to type get config dot set, and we're going to set the player to args zero. So we're setting in the config now. We're setting. Um, well, actually, no. What I need to do is I need to set this to colors dot plus player. So this is now setting the player's name here. So colors dot, and then it's going to set their player name uh, as another one of these. So that uh, this is going to be player name, and then it'll set it to this is going to be where args zero comes in, or the args one. Actually, I put this wrong. Args one. So that's going to add their thing into the config file. And then we're just going to save the config. So save config, which is uh, something we never did up here, actually. So up here we need to save config again. Save config. Um, and then we need to actually put this into the chat colors map up here. So chat colors dot put player args one, like so. So we know that this is definitely a color as well, because it has to be. It has to be a color because we've checked up here that it's definitely a color and it's not equal to nothing. Okay, so that is how that's gonna how we add sort of like a color. Uh, finally, we're gonna wanna make an event. So make sure that your class implements listener and let's make an at event handler. And we're gonna say public void on player chat. And this is now async, async player chat event event, like so. And 
with the at event hand, we're going to put brackets after it, and we're going to say ignore cancel equals true. So if this method is ever cancelled, if if another plugin sort of ever uses this method and it cancels the method, so it does event dot set cancel true, then we're just going to not bother doing this. We're not going to bother doing this method. Um, so anyway, now we're going to get the player's name. So string player name player name equals oh, you cannot type event dot get player dot get name like so and we're going to check that if chat colors contains the player name so if this chat colors thing if the first string can if it has the key in it of player name so if it contains key player name then we're going to get the chat color so chat color chat color that is associated with their name and it equals chat color dot value of and then cast it to a string uh, chat colors dot get player name so that is going to get the uh, should we need to cast that to a string um, that's going to get the, the 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 whatever the second argument is in the map that's associated with the the player's name so up here see we put the player name and the argument one which is the second argument they put in the command um, and then we're going to say event dot set message chat color plus event dot get message like so so that's going to that's going to I can't talk that is going to get the message and it's going to set the message as whatever chat color their chat color is and plus their message so in our plugin dot yml we need to put um, commands in so commands and then enter and space four times and set to chat color colon enter and description is going to be whatever the description is um, I don't know sets a players chat color there we go and then we can export this and it will work fantastically so if you have any issues with this message me otherwise thank you for watching guys and i shall see you next time